Just in is this 1973 Ford Grand Torino. It's a factory two owner car. All numbers matching 351 Cleveland two barrel. It's got just over 41,000 actual miles. The previous owner we bought it from uh, purchased it out of Alabama from the original owner. Comes equipped with power steering, power brakes, two barrel and air conditioning. I don't think the motor, the way it looks, has had anything done to it. Runs excellent. Front bumper all appears to be original. Uh, it's a very nice straight bumper, but it will need to be rechromed on the top side of the bumper. Um, you can see it's just got a ton of little pits and stuff on it. Uh, grill's original as well. I think with a little steel wool, a guy could clean that up really nicely. How I'd classify this car is just a very nice low mileage original Survivor. Um, it's had one repaint back to its original white color. It's got the Magna 500 rims with BFG raised white letter tires. Very nice straight body. Um, excellent original undercarriage. It's never been undercoated or nothing like that. Uh, floors are very solid. Um, I took a couple pictures. It's got uh, just a few pinholes in the one of the floorboards. Um, you can see that in the photos, but very, very minute. Uh, lower fender is in excellent condition. No rust blisters there rocker panel and lower quarter in front of the wheels excellent I don't see any blisters anywhere on the bottom of this passenger side it does have a lot of little paint touch-ups you can see there's one here and a paint chip um, I'm guessing it was a uh, paint was probably done 15 20 years ago and it was just a driver quality at best at that time the car will need to be repainted to be a really nice car and, and bring its full potential Back bumper is also very straight. Tail lights are nice. Back bumper will need to be rechromed as well. You can see this just at the top of the bumper. Um, got a lot of surface rust pits in it from sitting around. Vinyl top, however, is an absolutely perfect original condition. If we look at the back, there's not any blisters anywhere, no soft spots. Just really nice top. It looks like brand new. Another thing that looks like brand new on this car is its interior. Um, I know the previous owner, uh, the two owners said it was original miles, there's no doubt in my mind. Um, the uh, original door panels are absolutely perfect here on the passenger side. Corner of the door is great, no rust, no blisters there. The door panels, seats, carpet, dash pad, there's no cracks anywhere in the dash. Headliner's good, dome light works. Interior is absolutely amazing in this car. It's got the factory seat belts front and back. So now the door shuts on it. Door lines up perfectly, front to bottom. I don't think this car's really had any work done on it except for, like I said, a respray. Still has single exhaust on it, no one's put the duals. Trunk lid's nice and straight. Um, gaps and stuff are great on the trunk lid. I don't think it's ever had quarters or anything done to it. Um, lower quarter, driver's side. It's nice and solid all the way through. Wheel lip's good, in front of the wheel's great, rocker is great, um, so is the lower fender. I don't see any blisters anywhere down here. Frame's awesome on the car, very, very solid. 
I chose not to undercoat or paint it. It looked really clean and it was all original. So um, here's the driver's side of the vinyl top. There's no blisters anywhere. Like I said, it looks like brand new. Engine runs real smooth. Um, tires got probably at least three quarter thre tread left to them. Kind of talked about the lower rockers and fenders are perfect. Driver's side door, um, absolutely no rust, uh, no pitting, no bondo. Door panel, driver's side is excellent. Just as nice as the passenger side. I mean, there's no wear even in this armrest. There's wear on the, the chrome's peeling a little bit on the handle here. Um, the door buzzer works on it. Seat's excellent, all original. Window felts are all original. Window works excellent. Driver's side window goes up nice also. Um, fuel gauge works on it. It's got 41,736 miles on it right now. The horn works. Wipers work on it. Original Philco radio does not work. It's in great shape as far as uh, the buttons are all nice and the chrome on the radio is nice, but it does not work. The dash pad is absolutely perfect on it. Um, the dash itself is in great condition. It does have its original uh, owner's manual protecto plates in here. Sold brand new in uh, Florence, Alabama. Um, light works in the glove box. As far as the air conditioner goes, we'll try that in a minute. The fan works as far as the AC. Sounds like the AC compressor kicked in. But the heater definitely works as far as the AC. I know it's complete. The belt and everything's on it, but I'm not sure if it works. It's a little too cold today to find out. It's about 40 degrees here, so. Speedometer works good. The brakes stop great, no pull. Shocks all feel good, doesn't bottom out at all. Here's our brakes, no pull left or right. Um, kick down on the transmission works great. The speedometer doesn't bounce around. Not sure if the temp gauge works, it has not came up yet. I'm guessing it probably needs a temp sender in it. Transmission shifts nice. Goes down the road real nice. Front end feels nice and tight. No shake or shimmy. Just a really nice low mileage Torino.